In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a little trick of showing you how you can manipulate a halfback, especially at a gun bunch in terms of pass protection in Madden 22. What's going on guys, my name's Cody, and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Okay, guys, so I've been in the lab pretty hard, especially against blocked running backs, to kind of sh so that I can bring to you... Um, I think a unique little pressuring concept um, that you can use to manipulate a blocked running back. Now this concept is uh, going to be very helpful, especially with our 3-3-5 odd defensive guide. If you've not got our New York Giants defensive guide, it has, goes over the big nickel as well as our 3-3-5 odd defenses, um, as well as some other ones. You should get it. It's the best defense in the game that I've found up to this point. Um, we have the ability to get two man pressure all the way through sending eight man pressure against Max Protect. And we could really work our pressures and schemes to at least allow you to get a good amount of pressure at your opponent and then allow you to have a lot of resources and coverage. So um, if you want to get that defensive guide, it's in the description. You can get it for just 15 bucks and uh, it's a really, really good deal. So far, really good reviews. People, it's hard to get a stop in Madden 22 right now, but I think we've kind of given not only a good, we, we've tried to do the guide this year, a couple of different components. Uh, one of those is run defense, one of those is coverage defense, showing you different kinds of coverage concepts for things like gun bunch, trip tight end, some of the meta formations, bunch tight end as well. Um, but then we've also uh, done a really good job of giving you the pressure concepts. So. Um, you have all the tools in your disposal with this with this defensive guide. So if you want to get it, it's in the description. So let's talk about this um, little trick that you can use to hold a running back. So um, if the running back blocks, so if I'm standing right here with my safety, let's say, and let's say that I you know want to set my coverage up like this, I think this is probably the best way to defend bunch is to take this guy, put him in a quarter, and then if you put zone drops out, you can have a hard flat and a curl flat over there. And then basically you're gonna essentially leave this guy one on one, and then you're gonna essentially use your like this left side middle, and then maybe even the right side depending on what they do with their with their coverage or their um, routes. So what we're gonna do on this is you want him in a hook zone. Um, he doesn't have to be in a hook zone. You can do this from a spy as well. But basically the feature is the left trigger. Um, I knew the left trigger was going to be important, but for holding a back, it's actually super important. So as long as you're holding left trigger, the running back will basically um, look at your user, okay? If you're not holding left trigger, the running back won't look at your user. So a little trick is I'm going to stand kind of right in here, and all I'm going to do with the snap of the ball is I'm just going to hold left trigger. And if you watch, you see I'm going to drag that running back right around, just like that. Once I let go of it, obviously the running back went back into coverage. Let me break down exactly the concept in Instant Replay. So if I go into Instant Replay, uh, what you're going to see is if you really watch this running back, really watch his eyes, you're going to see he steps up. He's initially looking over here. But then when I start dragging this guy to the left, look at the running back, come with me. He comes with me, he comes with me, he comes with me. And then at the point at which it's too late, you know, he does come over and make a play. But um, we can kind of expand on that concept um, in a lot of different ways. So one of those ways is we could use, um, you know, different mechanics. So first things first, let's get that two-man pressure coming in. So we like to use a blitz on our user to get that to come in. So we're going to stand kind of right in here. And I don't know if I need to, I might need to get back on that linebacker. But anyways, the idea is we're right in here. And the snap of the ball, we're going to basically do a little wiggle. And then we're going to hold left trigger to pull that running back out of the way. So do a little wiggle. And then we're going to pull this guy over here. And you see the running back stay with me and I can get that edge pressure to at least once he gets off the block to be able to come in. So I can do the same thing um, with my, my linebacker. And I found that um, at least from a blitzing perspective, you get a little bit better pressure if you leverage the power of your linebacker here. So it does take at least one person out of coverage on your bunch side, but we can drop, you know, do a couple different things to make up for that. But anyways, I'm just gonna stand here with my user and watch what I'll do to the running back. So I'm just gonna kind of wiggle, get the blitz to come in. Now watch me pull, see how I pulled him out of the way and now I can't go get him. 
That's the idea. The other thing that you can do with this, if you want to keep your um, your safety, is you could run down and then through it. So basically, you're gonna do like a swooping action. So you're gonna come down and through, and you really want to start kind of over here. And this was the initial way that I was running this. But anyway, you're just gonna go down and through and drag around, and there you see the pressure come in. Now. We can expand on this pressure because if we can get it from five, we can probably get it from four as well. So if we work this out a little bit, you're going to see that we can actually um, just start dropping people. So for example, we might be able to drop both linebackers into coverage. So one of my favorite little tricks is I'll bring this guy down and I'll put him on a purple zone and then maybe drop this guy into a middle third and then maybe drop this guy, you know, into, you know, something or something like that. You know, it just gives you more coverage to the bunch side, basically. But you can do something like this. Maybe even drop that guy in a hard flat. And this is a three-man version. You know, so the question is, can we get that same kind of concept against that blocked running back? If we can get that concept, now we got a really interesting, uh, interesting coverage because we can really load up a lot of zones over there on that right side to help out the poor um, or against that bunch. So I'm going to do the same kind of concept. I'm going to kind of split the difference here. And you see I'm gonna swoop down and around and look at that. Didn't quite come in that time. I think I gotta, but you see what I'm saying? So if the running back jets out on a route, obviously you're gonna to have to go cover him. But this concept right here, I mean, it's a game changer in my opinion for blitzing because you can see how, I mean, I mean, you can see easily, um, you know, how this concept can apply. Because if, if you're sitting here and they and they run out with the back then all you're going to do is you're going to come down and around right there i'm sorry I, I thought i was putting back on a route i end up blocking him but basically if the back blocks you're just going to swoop down and in and then you're going to play any drag routes or something and then if the back doesn't um if the back doesn't uh stay in so if he goes out on a route you know then you're gonna you're gonna obviously adjust to that as well so this just gives you the ability to have another person in that middle field coverage so now you've got you know you've got several yellow zones you've got two yellow zones on the field you've got a mabel with a with a quarter and a third on the right i mean you got pretty really good coverage to that bunch side so if the running back goes out on a route then you're just going to come down oh he's out on a route so i'm just going to get out here now the blitz in my opinion actually is worse if you do it that way because the problem is you don't have the ability to like kind of hold that guard i mean you still can hold him but it's a lot harder in my opinion um to do that so let me show you that one more time and then we'll um and then we'll cover one more thing so or we'll cover one more concept so if i were to stand like right in here and i see oh he's oh okay i'm just gonna come out you see you always get this instant shed though which i really like so anyways you get that nice little instant shed especially if they have edge threats so uh, once you can get edge throw on that player, I highly recommend it. But anyways, all that to say, come back over here. Oh, now they're going to block the running back. So now you see, oh, he's blocking his running back. And that's honestly probably better for me in terms of my user and what I can, what I need to cover. Because um, there's just nothing, there's nothing to, to hold me over here. I could pl pretty much play man coverage on that guy if I wanted to. Um, I could also, you know, just, just simply man coverage him lock him down and then now what you're going to see is then i'll just drag this all the way around just like so and as you can see we've got really good coverage they might try to throw one of those corner routes as you can see the quarter zone or that those when you have a quarter and a third they actually really do work well together in this game um, at least the way it is right now so the point is just i would encourage you to test this concept out for yourself i'd encourage you to kind of get in the lab a little bit uh, kind of see what you actually, you know, what what is the look, what is the what is your user um, trajectory really look like? Because if they if they block here, my thinking is I'm gonna run right down and then just kind of pull this guy just like that right there. And as you can see, we've got really good coverage. So let me just break that down one more time. This replay, this was I think only sending three. And this is the power of a three five odd in my opinion this year. Is that I mean literally I sent three people, and as long as you can get this guard to just kind of have to have to deal with that like that's a problem for the guard that's a problem for the guard and then if you can pull that that back out of the way 
as you can see it's not going to matter it's not going to matter if they match protect it's not going to matter what they do right from a defensive standpoint they can match protect all they want and you're still going to have a good opportunity uh, to get your pressure in so here I'll just show max protect and I don't know that this is gonna come in or not I was just messing around with this but basically you come down kind of really loop around and that time I didn't do a good job of usering I think my user really and, and hey you don't have to keep going either that's one of the mistakes you, you're gonna remember Madden is a grid it's really important to remember that Madden is a hundred percent a grid okay and what that means is the running back has a specific grid. So if I stay kind of in my zone right in that middle and just kind of hold left trigger, I should be able to trigger this. So let me just show you here. So run down and then just hold right in here. See how he's looking right there? That's the idea. So as long as I can get that two man kind of worked out a little bit or not that two man interaction between the guard and the center worked out a little bit, you'll you'll find that this is going to be um, this is going to be a really, really tough defense, in my opinion, against Max Protect. Uh, max protect is not going to be the move against this specific coverage shell or this our specific defensive scheme which is what we're trying to do we're trying to have to force the offense to um to have to adjust to us which is super hard in this year's game but anyways here's your max protect concept as you can see right there i max protected completely came completely clean off the edge just like that so um, tinker with that work with that get the defensive guide if you watch this video and you get the defensive guide you put the two of them together this is a really, 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 really important stuff, in my opinion, for defense. So uh, learn this, lab this, commit to this, and you're going to find that you're going to start getting some stops uh, with this defense. If you want to get my full defensive guide that goes over the coverages and goes over some other pressures and other schemes and concepts we have, there's a link in the description of this video for you to be able to get access to that. Uh, I've been loving, I've been, I've been loving this defense. I've had to work the coverage out. The coverage is really the harder part. Um, the blitzing is more of the fun part, but the coverage part, if you can, when we work that out a lot in the game plan and the guide, and we've got a couple of updates that are going to continue to come. We're actually updating that guide, like I said, through the first month of the game so that we can make sure that you have the best coverage scheme possible for what you're trying to defend. And we're in the lab super hard, um, for the rest of the week, trying to work out how can we actually get some coverage to make some stops for us. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get the guide, it's just 15 bucks and it's down in the description.